Good morning, this is Pastor John, and the uh, title of my sermon is Love. Today I want to tell you a story about a man named Love, a man who came down from heaven over 2,000 years ago for a world that was so full of sin and sorrow, that was so lost, that was so going to hell, and without his precious life, without his precious love, we all would be going straight to hell. Love has always been. Love has been from the beginning of the world. Love was with the Father, and the Father said, let us, love, create men in our own image. Yes, men were created in the image of love, and it is so a shame today that we do not know love anymore. Let's get back to the man called love. He came down to earth, like I said before, over 2,000 years ago. He was born humbly in a stable, he uh, laid in a manger full of animal, amongst animal dung and um, hay and uh, men who were very wise came from miles around to worship the newborn King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Love grew up as a young boy. He never fit in. He walked among his peers and was made fun of even at a young age because uh, he sought after love. He had heart and compassion to where uh, the other young boys uh, wanted to play silly games and such love, sought after doing only things that the father had put in his heart. As he grew into a young man, he knew that his profession, though trained in it as a carpenter, was not going to be his true calling, his true profession. For his profession came from above, came from the Father in heaven, for that's where all love is born. Love gathered together a ragtag uh, group of men, and uh, with those men, they overturned the world with love. He came and preached a radical gospel one full of love, one full of forgiveness, one full of compassion. Um, turning the other cheek when we are abused, when we are hurt. Loving your brother even when they hate you and do evil against you. Um, for he truly personified love. This man preached his gospel unto all who would listen. The tide turned against him. His friends betrayed him. They betrayed him with a kiss. They betrayed him in other ways too. And love stood firm and true to his calling of why he was called here. He was called as a savior to bring salvation unto the world, unto all who would accept love. The soldiers gathered and they captured love, and they marched him before the leaders of his day, leaders who he had come to help, to lead people to the kingdom of heaven, to love. And these leaders judged him and turned him over to the enemies of the day, the state. The state put him before all of the people, the people he had come to save, the people he had come out of heaven to save. And these people yell, crucify him. We don't want love. Love was given a cross to carry. And um, he carried that cross up to Mount Calvary. He was uh, whipped, spit upon, had his beard torn out. Um, ridiculed in every way, but love never changed. He never gave in to the hate of the world. He stood true and um, secure in the reason he had come here. He had come here in love. He was nailed upon a cross, hung between two thieves. People walked by and scorned at him and uh, ridiculed him. But love kept true, like I said, to his calling to come into the world 
is the sacrifice for all mankind, to show the way to heaven to all those who would love, to point the way to the Father, to a child and his children who had fallen so far away from the Father. As he hung there, being man and being God, he wondered, is his sacrifice good enough? Would the Father accept his sacrifice? All he had went through in love. Then suddenly, like a bolt of lightning, the sky grew angry and the tears of God poured out on the earth from heaven out of his great love for his son. They put him in a borrowed grave, but the grave could not hold love. On the third day, the stone was rolled away, or may I say blasted away, out of love. Jesus Christ is love. He is the man I am talking about. He is the man I tried to follow, and um, he is the reason that I am on here. He is the reason that I preach unto you. I do not hide my feelings. I do not hide my face. And anything I tell you, I tell you in love. Yes, my friends, this world of sin and sorrow is soon going to end. But through it all, if we hold love in our hearts, if we hold true to the reason that he came and accept him, as he told Nicodemus, and be born again, we shall enter the kingdom of heaven, and we shall meet love. I don't know about you, but this is my quest. This is my goal. This is the reason I breathe. This is the reason I was brought into this world. And this is the reason I speak, for I speak in love. We have a, a book, the Holy Bible, which shares from page one to the end of the book and talks to us about love. It talks to us about a man named Jesus Christ, who I label and call love. In closing, I just want to say that um, if you do not accept love, if you do not accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your Lord, you're going straight to hell. It's simple and true. God so loved the world that he sent love, his only begotten Son, into this world that whosoever lives and believes in him and accepts him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he sent his Son, and his Son is the only way to heaven. You may have people preaching to you that there's other ways, but there's only one way to heaven, and that is through love. Love personified through Jesus Christ. Love personified through Jesus Christ. Amen, my friend. Amen. My prayer for you today in closing is that you realize how close we are to the end. You look around yourself and see everything that's going on out there and realize that we have to put away all the hate that is being produced, all the hate out there that is in power, as Jesus Christ did, as he stood before this hateful power. He opened up his arms and spread them and gave them love. We, too, must do this. We must preach the truth, but we must preach it in love. What else could I say about my love, my Jesus Christ, my Savior? The reason I draw breath, yes, and the reason I shall be going home soon, because this old world doesn't got much longer, and um, I've like like uh, Paul, I fought the good fight. I've ran the race. And now I look forward to my crown. Do you? Do you want to do the same? 
Are you running your race? If you are, I hope you're running it in love. Think about that. Till next time, this is Pastor John checking out saying, Peace, love, and joy. He gave to me, and I give unto you. I hold no punches. I tell it like it is. And I tell it out like it is out of love. I hope to see you soon in heaven or on earth. But more likely, I'll see you in heaven because we're so close to the end. Check you out later. Keep your eyes on your creator.